Microsoft releasing Microsoft 365 Backup, the new service that will allow you to backup and restore your data in the Microsoft 365 applications. Let's dig in and let's see how much it will cost you to backup your data, data of your users in your Microsoft 365 tenant and how to predict that kind of cost from perspective of the Microsoft 365 backup service or third party vendors that offers that kind of service publicly. And as always, if you like this video, please leave the thumbs up. If you want to get the notifications about the new videos, please subscribe. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. And before we will move forward, I want to share with you that this video is brought to you thanks to the AFI AI backup vendor that is proud partner of my blog office365adwork.com and supports this series of the videos that will help to share the knowledge about the backup process of the data in the Microsoft 365 that works for enterprise. So first of all, Microsoft 365 Backup is a pay-as-you-go service, which is provided as a part of the Microsoft Syntax, and you're paying for it based on the usage of the service. In this case, storage that you want to backup. At the moment, this is the service provided as a paid public preview, so you have to pay for it to get access for it. Microsoft Teams is at the moment not supported yet, but it will be added as a part of the service. Another element worth to consider, there will be self-service, which will be included as a part of the admin panel, but at the moment this is very limited and mostly recommended for the administrators or help desk, so users by themselves will not have access to restore their data. From perspective of the functionality, there's no that much difference and what is very important, the pricing of the service is different than market standards. So you're paying for the gigabytes that you want to backup. So it includes mailboxes in the Exchange, SharePoint sites, space in the OneDrive accounts of the users, plus in the future space in the Microsoft Teams. The cost is 15 cents for gigabyte per month. So you can see from the functional perspective, Microsoft 365 Backup is more or less similar to the market standards, but from the pricing perspective, it calculates the data that you want to backup and based on that, charge you for the service, pay as you go model. And this is a little different and maybe sometimes challenging because it could be difficult to predict exact cost per month. If your users will upload more data, you will pay more. Moreover, if they will delete the data, but the backup will still contain it for a year, you will still pay for it. So if you're working in an environment where a lot of data is uploaded, deleted, changed, it could impact the volume of the backup you will have there. And in the end, it will also impact the costs on your site per month. And why it's important? Because market standard is to pay per user. So you have static price that is assigned to the users that you are assigning the backup service and you're paying for it. General market standard is about two to four dollars per user per backup. In most cases, it doesn't have any storage limit behind it. In some cases, there is, let's, let's say, 50 gigabytes per user limit. What I did in the background, I also checked with the one of the backup vendor sponsor of this video, AFI AI, what is the average size of the storage of the organizations that using the backup service. In general, this is around 20 gigabytes per user including SharePoint, OneDrive and Mailbox. And again, you can say that's not the high number, but still you need to remember that will be the users that have almost nothing on their Mailbox or in the OneDrive, or there will be heavy users that will have a lot of the data there. 
And if you will multiply this 15 cents per 20 gigabytes of the data, you get $3 per users as a price of the pay as you go service. So again, it seems that this is market range price for the service, but at the same time, if your volume of the data is higher, this price will be higher than market standards around backup service. And if you will think about Microsoft 365 backup pricing, you need to consider two elements. First of all, this is the flexible model that will change in time. It's, it could be difficult to predict exact costs if your organization uploading more and more and more of the data. Second thing, if you will calculate the costs, you need to take into consideration what is your current storage and what is your average storage per user. If this is less than 20 gigabytes of the data, probably Microsoft 365 backup could be cheaper than market price. On the other hand, if this is a higher number, probably third party vendors that will provide backup could be cheaper than Microsoft 365 backup provided by Microsoft. Moreover, you can always remember that you can negotiate prices on both sides with the Microsoft, especially if you have enterprise agreement with third party vendors. As I mentioned, price is between two and four dollars. Priceless price for AFI AI is three dollars on their side. And if you're thinking about buying Microsoft 365 backup, I recommend you to try AFI AI, who is the proud partner of this YouTube channel and my blog. They offer the backup for Microsoft 365 for $3 per user per month. And also if you will look for wider organization, bigger group of the users, you can get the discount, just contact with them. From my perspective, the model which is priced per user is much more suitable as a predictable cost per month, which you can easily book in your budget, but again, I recommend you to try all the options. In the description of the video, you will get the access to the free trial license that you can use for four weeks with AFI AI without additional costs. Just register and they will provide you the access to test their solution and you can do that for free. Microsoft 365 and third party vendors offer backup solution. And if you will do the calculation, you can check which solution will work for you the best way. I hope this video helped you to understand better possible costs behind Microsoft 365 backup. As you can see, in case of the Microsoft 365 backup provided by Microsoft, it could be the cost depending on the storage that you will backup to the Microsoft service. In case of third party vendors, it could be around $3 per month or less depends on the discounts that you can negotiate there. In the description of the video, you will also find additional links that will allow you to calculate the cost connected with the Microsoft 365 backup. Do the math between what is most suitable for your organization and select the product that will work for you and check which solution will fit to your budget. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video.